Hi, I'm Kevin Blinkoff, editor at On The Water Magazine, and today I'm going to talk about rigging soft plastic stick baits for stripers. Now, soft plastic stick baits are a very popular lure for stripers. They've got great action, they're great on light tackle. It can be a little tricky though, figuring out how to put a hook into something like this and how to rig it best. There's different options, different hooks, they give you different actions, so we're gonna go through those right now. This is the Big Oki by Game On Lures. This is a local Connecticut lure manufacturer. And one way you can rig this lure is with what's called an offset worm hook. And so there's an offset worm hook, shaped like a regular J hook, but it's got a little bend in it. And that bend is important. That part is what's going to go in the nose of the bait. And then the hook point is going to come out through the back. So take the point of the hook like this. This is the top of the bait, this is the bottom. Point of the hook into the nose and then out the bottom. And so you wanna have a little bit of soft plastic there. That's where the neck of this hook is going to sit. Bring it through and slide it all the way up to the eye of the hook. And so if you take a look there, you can see right now, the nose of the bait is covering that bent neck part of the offset worm hook. Now you take this, measure up the hook against the bait to figure out where you want it to go through. And the goal here is to have a bait that sits perfectly straight. You don't want to bunch it up and have any kinks because then it won't swim right. So when you measure that up, you can see where the hook should go into the bottom of the bait and come out the top, and that's your goal. Slide it through the bottom, punch it out through the top, and that's what you're looking for, so that when it's rigged like this, the point is through the top, so it will hook fish, but it is slightly weedless, but overall it's rigged so that it's a straight bait, and that means when it moves through the water, You'll have that good action and it won't, it won't spin or anything like that because it's rigged straight on the hook. Here's another option in soft plastics. This is a new bait by Z-Man. This is with Elastec soft plastic, so that's why I have it stored in this container. You really have to store it separately from other soft plastics. And it's a very stretchy stick bait, so it can be a little tricky to hook. They have their own line of hooks. Now this is the same offset worm hook little different. Um, it's got some lead on it. It'll give you some weight. And it's got a little bit of a keeper here. And like I said, with this Elastec bait, you need something more that'll really kind of bite into it because it's so stretchy. But once you have it on, um, it's, it stays hooked. So what you want to do is use the point of the hook, create the hole where you want it, like that, and then back the hook back out. And now you've created a little channel in there, a little root. So you've made with the point of the hook, you've made a hole there. Find it with the eye, force it through the nose, and there it is. And so now you've got the chin of the bait locked in on the hook right here. And these Z-Man baits have a channel along the bottom, so it's easy. Put it in there, see where you want that hook to come through. Make a hole, come right out the top. And that's what you're looking for. So you want it to sit like that, so it's straight. No kinks in the bait here, so it's gonna run straight through the water. And that little extra weight on a lure like this can help you cast farther, especially important if you're fishing from shore um, or if you're trying to target shorelines. This is a great bait because it can stand up to bluefish as well, that stretchy soft plastic. And it will stay hooked pretty well on that special offset worm hook with a little extra weight on it. Third way to rig soft plastic baits, just with a classic jig head. And this works on soft plastic stick baits, even without a paddle tail, they'll still have great action on a jig head. This is probably one of my favorite ways to fish the classic Sluggo. So the Sluggo is a striper lure that's been very popular for a long time. Works great, mimics a lot of long skinny bait like sand eels. And with a jig head like this, you want one that has a collar on it for soft plastic baits. And it really is as easy as like any jig head. Just make sure that you get the hook through just enough so that it sits straight on the jig head. Force it up. And that's what you're looking for. You want it to sit on the jig head just like that. Now I would recommend with something like a Sluggo to keep it on a jig head. Once you get it up like that, back it off again. Put some, put some uh, super glue right on the collar. Push it back on and hold it on there and that bait will last through many fish. And that's probably my favorite way to fish a sluggo if I'm fishing from a boat. Uh, you can cast far, you can let it sink, you can work it along the bottom, and it's still gonna have great action. And that works with a lot of similar soft plastic baits. So here's the Big Oki again by Game On Lures in a different color. And one option to rig this 
is with a swim bait hook. It's like an offset worm hook, but it's got a screw at the front, so you don't have to worry too much about threading the hook through the nose. You end up with a pretty similar look to the offset worm hook, a little easier to rig, and you also have more options for weighted hooks. So, it's as easy as just screwing this into the nose of the bait. And the only thing you have to make sure of is that when you turn this on the screw here, that you end up with it oriented the right way. So, like that, let me show you this way, like that, so it's on the hook correctly. This is the bottom of the lure, this is the top. And then once again, line the hook up, see where you want it to come through, go for that point, try and get it to go straight through the center of the lure so it comes out on the top like that. And there you go, and that's your goal again. It's all about making sure that it's straight on the hook, no kinks. Hook's exposed on the top so you hook up fish, but it's tight to the top of the lure so it's almost perfectly weedless. A little bit of weight here, and you can get weighted swim bait hooks and unweighted. Generally the unweighted, you get a little more natural action, um, but the weighted will help you cast further, and also you can let it sink a little deeper if the fish are deeper. Thanks for watching. If you've got any special tips or techniques that you use to fish soft plastic baits for striped bass, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, and thank you for watching.